Hello guys, it's Ed here, and today I'm going to show you how you set up your HD PVR2 with your games console. I'm going to show you how you set up with your Xbox and the PS3. So, kicking things off first, this is the HD PVR2, the back of it, and this is an Xbox 360. That's just the power cord for the Xbox, and that's just covering my serial number if you're wondering why the hell that's there. So anyway, first off, all you need to do is firstly get your uh, power adapter which comes with the... Um, HD PVR and plug it into your mains and then the end of it which is here just plug it far left into here and then when you do it will go green so then you know that's on then next up you want to get the uh, USB cable thing here try and focus on it and the end of it which is a bit strange but have um, and then get that you kinda of want to put it upside down like that into it and that goes just next to where the uh, power source is just focus that so just goes next to the power source and then the cable the USB just plug that into your PC or laptop um, I'll tell you about Mac at the end of the video about all of that with this new HD PVR2 right next up you want to get a HDMI cable now as you know it comes with two HDMI cables um, here's one. I'd already had one kicking around, so I just thought I'd just use that. So here's one of them. Um, and what you want to do firstly is just plug that into the back of the HD PVR2, and you want to put it in HDMI in the first one. So plug that in, push it in, and then that end of the HDMI in one that goes into the back of your Xbox. Um, into the HDMI in the back of your Xbox which is here so just under here in the middle and push that in so that's how you do that cable I'll try and move all the cables out of the way next up you want to get the next cable which is here uh, next HDMI and that goes in HDMI out which is next to it so that goes here job done um, and then the next HDMI cable, which is here, I'll pick you up and show you where this goes. So this goes into the back of your TV. Um, so in. there we go. So it just goes into the back with under HDMI. Job done. Right, so I've shown you how you set up your Xbox 360, so now I'll show you how you set up your PS3. I don't actually have a PS3, but I can still show you where you need to put what and how things go. So if you've got PS3, you'll know this new HD PVR2 gaming edition that comes with comp composite cables. So there's all these. Now there's two audio on the right, which are covered by a band, and three video on the left, uh, all these little colours. And then there's another set of cables which look like this, little, little things. And um, it's the same, there's three video, which are... Um, these guys here and then and then on the left here are the two audios so now we need to connect the two different cable sets together so starting off we'll do uh, the video so firstly it's just just matching up the colors so blue to blue just like that and then you want to go red to red and then you want to go green to green and then with the two audio, uh, audio cables on this side they're just inside the colours so don't worry you think oh they're, they're too black Ed how does that work um, so it's just match up the red inside with the red one and the white with the white one just like that now then this end of the cable is a bit strange and it looks like this um, and you want to have it upside down like that and basically where it's going to go is here just here this little slot here uh, this is just for the PS3 so all you got to do is try and get it in the gap like that so there you go and then the other end of that cable just here uh, that goes into the back of your PS3 so that just slots in at the back wherever that goes in your PlayStation 3 um, and that's how you set up the HD PVR2 gaming edition for the Xbox 360 
and PlayStation 3. Now I was going to do a bit of a Q&A, so we'll do that now. Right, so after you've set up everything else, you need to remember to stick the USB cable into your computer, and then you need to install the disk if you have a Windows computer. I'll leave all the specs for what Windows computer you need, and you'll have to check that yourself. Just, uh, yeah, just check the technical spec with your PC. But if you've got a Mac, you can't use that CD. Um, I know with the original Hoopage, Hoopage, Hoopooj, uh, HD PVR, you could use some software. So you could use um, the original one. However, for this one, at the moment, the uh, software that I use, which is HD PVR Capture, isn't yet uh, the software, the original software, can't actually be used with this new uh, sort of product. But I've spoken to this guy who made the software, he's a software engineer for Hoopard, Hoopard, Who, and he said that they're working on making some software for Mac. So if you've got a Mac user, um, I'll leave the description hdpvrcapture.com and I'll leave it all in the description bar and you'll have to keep checking that because um, if you're thinking, oh I really want to buy it Ed, um, and I think it's completely worth it, you might have to wait a bit if you've got a Mac, but if you've got a PC you're absolutely fine. Um, there is also ITV, which uh, quite a lot of people use, but to be honest I think HD PVR Capture is better because it's only $30 and um, I think ITV for just running a HD PVR is sort of uh, $80. But yeah, the software for this, uh, the HD PVR Capture for Mac isn't yet out yet, so if you think, oh I've got a Mac, um, what should I do, uh, you can't really do much at the moment. But uh, I don't know about ITV, I'm not into that uh, program. But yes, that's how you set it up. Um, also, when you've set it up properly, there'll be a green band around here, so you'll know. And you sort of click this and it starts recording, so when it sort of goes green, uh, yeah, it's recording it. So that's really good. Um, if you've got any questions, I'm more than happy to help. Um, thanks for watching.